एक्स्ट्रा टाइम They say fast bowlers hunt in pairs, and we have someone seated next to me who had a brilliant pairing with none other than Sir Richard Hadley. I am joined by Ewan Chatfield. How has been your partnership with Sir Richard? Oh, I mean, I just bowl what uh, you know I was picked to do, and uh, we just happen to um, uh, you know work out as a combination. I mean, I was there to defend, and um, he was there to attack, and uh, and that's the. Turned out all right in the end. You know. How has the friendship evolved over the years? Oh, Richard was. I mean, it was it was an awkward time really because Richard was a professional playing in England, and we were basically um, amateurs playing club cricket in, in New Zealand, and so he he had a slightly different attitude to the game than we did. But uh, but we. I mean, we had Jeff Howth and John Wright and John Park and those guys that were playing in England as well. So. Us club cricketers learnt a lot off, off them, and, uh, and over a period of time, we uh, Richard had his ways of doing things, and uh, you know we, we all learnt from that. Yeah. Talking about unnerving accuracy, obviously, someone who led, was a master of that was none other than you yourself. I Means, uh, can you just talk us about how did you manage to control the ball so accurately? Oh, I, I, I was because I just used to bowl a lot. That's why you know I wasn't really a great fielder or a great batter, and so when I, when I used to go to practice, I just basically used to bowl the whole practice, and uh, you know that's that's the end product <laughs> that I was able to. Uh, and I was I, I was a very fit guy, um, you know I came from a farming background, and so I um, you know we, we used to walk everywhere on the farm, and so I was fit from being a little wee toddler. And uh, you know, so I could bowl for long periods of time, uh, and putting the ball in the same spot. How did you find Jasprit Bumrah? Means, um, how much did you see him? Well, yeah, well, I've seen him since he's been in New Zealand, and I'm, I'm amazed uh, the way he bowls, uh, especially in his run-up. I mean, he walks half it. You know, I, I wish I <laughs> wish I'd thought that out when I was playing. I could have walked half mine and got you know, and got rhythm out of the last half. I I'm not quite sure, and I don't know whether anybody else knows how, how he quite does that. And, and you know, the different variations he can bowl, but from the same sort of run up. Yeah. I mean, so, um, talking about Bumrah, I means were you a bit surprised that he didn't go, didn't pick many wickets because New Zealand um, batsmen were a bit conservative against him? Did it surprise you, or this is this is going to be the trend in in the coming days? Yeah, well, I think it's a different game, Test match, isn't it? But but I think that maybe in the one days in the T20s where he got a bit of a spanking, that he didn't quite know how to handle it because he had never been in that position before. Um, so he would he would have learned a lot out of that series. Um, and so uh, you know he'll be a different kettle of fish in the Test matches. Basin Reserve, obviously. I mean, what is the key to do well in a, in, in a ground like Basin Reserve when there is so much wind? Means how to control the swing. Well, I mean, I wasn't a big swing bowler. Um, I was basically a seamer, uh, and I didn't really bowl into the wind. I mean, it's a bit of a myth here that that I bowled into the wind a lot of the base, and I, I did open the bowling into the wind with Richard. But when Richard came off at his end, then I came on downwind after him. But um, yeah, it is it is a mastery thing to do. I mean, uh, and it's a lot depends on where the wind is coming from and to how much swing you get. Uh, it's got to be in a certain area, and, and the RE variant stand actually um, holds, stops a lot of the northerly wind coming in. Um, so you're better off um, bowling. Uh, the southerly is probably the best wind to bowl into to get a to get swing. That's if you're a swing bowler, and you know, and I wasn't really a swing bowler. And even obviously talking about the Indian bowling, I means how do you see this current Indian crop of bowlers? Oh well, I don't think India have probably had a, this crop of bowlers ever. Probably, I mean, you know, when we were playing them, they had Kapil Dev and and maybe uh, one other, and then you know it was based around spin bowlers, and it's been, it's been based around spin bowlers for years. But now, um, you know, you've got a you've got a what six or seven of them lining up. Uh, you know, some of them are still injured back in India that that could easily play. So uh, you know, and it's probably because. 
they, um, they play a lot more now around the world and, and, and had to develop on, on different types of wickets where, you know, we only used to tour, for instance, tour, they may have toured Australia and England and Australia and New Zealand, you know, once every five years or something. So, but a lot of them have been to England now and played there, so they've got used to the, more d used to the conditions. Would you say this, is, this happens to be the best bowling attack that has c come to New Zealand? From India. Yeah. yeah, from India, yes, I would say so. Yep. And what, what is your assessment of Mohammad Shami? And obviously, he has also been one bowler to that India, for India that has done well in recent times. Means what is your assessment of Mohammad Shami? Well, I think the basic thing is that he stayed fit. You know, I mean, they've all had their injury problems over the last few years, and he... Um, and and he, he's ma got through that, and um, you know you, you, you've got to be fit to be able to play. Um, and uh, I think that the more he plays, the better he'll get. Talking about injury, obviously, New Zealand will have someone who is coming back from injury. Trent Bolt, he was injured in the Boxing Day Test match. So, how do you see him in, in carrying on his shoulders the responsibility of the New Zealand pace bowling attack? Yeah, well, he hasn't had many games, has he? Well, he hasn't had any since that. Uh, he's had a couple of club games, um, which, yeah, I, th I think he, he'll he'll find it a little bit difficult for a start. But once he gets his rhythm back again and whatever, I think, uh, and and Kane Williamson handles him all right, doesn't blow him out in, in the first uh, session, and um, I think he'll get through all right. How do you see the test series? Obviously, there is a lot many talks about means India ranked number one in the World Test Championship now at the moment, and obviously New Zealand too had, do not have too much points behind. So, how do you see the upcoming test series between India and New Zealand? Yeah, well, I think it'll be interesting. I see uh, India probably they've played a lot of tests at home recently, haven't they? And and, and uh, so most countries play well at home, and so uh, a little bit depends on what the wickets like. Um, at, the, at the basin, but I think India have got a good all-round side at the moment with their, with their, uh, you know, the, their medium pace attack, uh, their spinners, and their batting lineups. You know, second to none in the world. So, I mean, we're going to have to play well to compete with them. And uh, last couple of questions, obviously, so you, went, um, in, you got hit um, in your first test match on the, on the head of a Peter Lever bouncer, but then can you talk us about the concussion rule? Well, I don't really know much too much about the concussion rule, but I, I think it's probably a, a good idea. I mean, it's, not, it's other sports, uh, you know, especially rugby, uh, they, they brought it in. Um, and I think it's a good idea. We don't, we don't want people dying because of some silly concussion thing that they should have gone off. Um, and, uh, you know, because everybody wants to, all players want to play. So they would carry on and play. They might, might have a little bit of a headache, but they would suit to carry off and play. So I'd sooner them go off, get, do the concussion test, and if they fit to play, they play. If not, then, then that's it. Do you see the rules? Uh, do you see the rules heavily stacked in favour of the batsman, the modern day batsman in modern day cricket? Oh well, it's always been a batting game. <laughs> That's coming from a bowler, of course. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I think probably is, but we're. Uh, I think the whole the whole game has changed in, in test matches. I mean, test matches when when we were playing, uh, 250 runs a day were good. And if you, you'd probably only get three or four wickets. Now you get 400 runs a day, but you get nine wickets, right? So the game is so much more advanced after one day. And I think I think the players enjoy it because it, 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 it's you know it's always on the go. And I think that the general public, the people that come along and watch, they enjoy it as well because there's always there's always action. There's no time to go to sleep, otherwise you miss something. <laughs> Sixty odd years since you have been playing club cricket. What was the passion? Oh, I just, um, I, I set myself reasonably high standards, really, e even though I was 60-odd. Um, and, and I had to do that to be able to enjoy the game, right? And as soon as I stopped enjoying the game, and that was the time to get, give up. And I, I went away to play in Australia in the over-60s competition over there. I actually did some training and some practice and, to go there, but things didn't, didn't go as well as... Uh, that I would have liked um, and so when I came back home again um, I had a little bit of a break from the game and then uh, and I didn't miss it and so I thought well there's time and everybody always said that all older players former players said that you, you'll know when it's time to retire and um, I knew it was time to go. Thank you very much right. thank you right. it was indeed a pleasure talking right. to you thank, thank you. you.
hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.